So this is a sequence. It's basically a function defined for positive integers. So we can rewrite this as follows. We can say x1 is 1, x2 is 3, x3 is 6, x4 is 10, etc. And so in this video, we're going to come up with two different formulas for the sequence. We're going to come up with what's called a recursive definition that basically means that each term of the sequence, except maybe the first few, is defined in terms of the previous ones. And we're going to come up with an explicit formula for this sequence. This is a very popular sequence. It's a very famous sequence. But let's just have some fun and look at it. So I've listed here the first four terms. So let's see if we can um, find a pattern here. Notice that the distance or the difference between these two is 2. Here it's 3. And here it's 4. So basically, we can do the following. We can say that this is the previous one plus 2, right? because that's the previous one. We can say x3 is the previous one, so x2 plus 3, because right? we're adding 3. And then x4 is um, the previous one, plus 4. Okay, And then we can go further um, here. We can write this as x1 plus 1 plus 1. This is x2 plus 2 plus 1. This is x3 plus 3 plus 1. And you notice basically it's the subscript here plus 1. The subscript plus 1. The subscript plus 1. So we can make an educated guess and say that x sub n plus 1, right, plus 1, because this one is given. So we're starting at 2. We're going to say that's the previous one, plus n plus 1. So now we have our recursive definition for the sequence. We can say that the sequence 1, 3, 6, 10, etc. is given by the following uh, recursive definition. x sub 1 is 1. And then the n plus 1th term is equal to x sub n plus n plus 1. And that did that pretty quickly, just going through and showing you some math. Let's come up with another formula for it, one that perhaps is more familiar to you. So let's go ahead and write the sequence down again so we have it. We have 1, 3, 6, 10. And let's think about what's happening here. So x1 is 1. And this requires uh, some observation or perhaps some previous knowledge. Uh, 1 plus 2 is 3. And 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6. All right, so this is 3, this is 6. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is going to be 10, etc. So basically, we're going to say here that x sub n is going to be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus, plus n. What we want to do better than that, and I think we can. So let's come up with a formula for this. So if we know that x sub n is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus n, um, we want a formula for it. So I'm going to do the following. I'm going to write it like this. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus, and then the integer before n is n minus 1. Now write it backwards. n plus n minus 1 plus the one before that is n minus 2. And now we add, add vertically, x sub n plus x sub n is 2x sub n. And then you add n plus 1. Same thing here, n minus 1 plus 2 is n plus 1. Same thing here, n minus 2 plus 3 is n plus 1. n plus 1. n plus 1. So we have 2x sub n equals n plus 1, n plus 1, n plus 1, n plus 1, n plus 1. We have n integers, so we have n sum n's, so we have n copies of n plus 1. So that's n times n plus 1 divided by 2, and we get x sub n equals n times n plus 1 over 2. And that's a formula for the sequence 1, 3, 6, 10. So that's one formula. And then our recursive formula, recall, was x1 equals 1, 
and then x sub n plus 1 equals x sub n plus n plus 1. I probably forgot to mention that here n is greater than or equal to 1. That's really important to mention in the recursive definition. I don't think I did it uh, over here. So that's for this condition here. Yeah, just a random video, show you a sequence, show you how to come up with a recursive definition, and this is always really fun to play around with. Good luck.